In today's video, I want to use this vintage IBM keyboard on a modern computer. You can do this one of two ways. You can uh, connect, if you have a uh, PS2 port, you can connect this directly to the PS2 port on your computer. But my computer does not have a PS2 port. So I need to use an adapter like this, a PS2 to USB adapter. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into, it's the same I think. I'll plug it into the purple one, like that. You just connect this to your computer and it should just work. connected to my computer. Put the keyboard right there. Like that. Oops. Connected to my any USB port. It should just work and light up. So it's like it's lit up as you can see. It is working. I can uh, type with this. Let me uh, open something up. Here it is. I'm going to type something. You could hear that, right? Hello world. So this keyboard works just fine. I'm just typing J, Let's see J, K. This uh, vintage keyboard from not really sure when it's from. Where what year it's from? Maybe 1988, 1989. This is a pretty old keyboard. It does work. And if you want to use an uh, old keyboard like this or anything with a PS2 port, you can, like how I'm doing right now on, on my modern computer right here. But I'll just type my username on there. As you can see, this everything is working. This keyboard works just fine. Let's try number pad. I'm going to type something. Okay, so everything's working here. See, caps lock works, caps lock works, scroll lock works. It has everything this modern keyboard has, except for a Windows key, which is right there. This keyboard does not have a Windows key because this was made in, nine, uh, in the late 1980s. So that did not, Windows 95 did not exist in the late 1980s or even in the early 1990s. Such that operating system came out in 1995. So this keyboard doesn't have that. But I'm, I'm, I'm able to use a keyboard which is, let's see, how many years ago was that? Let's say it was 1988. So about 37 years ago, this keyboard is 37 years old, and I'm able to use it today. And one thing I like about these old keyboards is that they are so well built. It's pretty heavy and sturdy. It's actually very heavy. I'm holding it with one hand, but I, I assure you it is a lot of weight. So that's what I want to share with you today. If you want to know where you can find the adapter to convert your vintage PS2 keyboard to a USB keyboard, uh, I'll leave the adapter in the video description below. And thank you for watching.